good quality Chinese replacement junk. Yeah, I thought I'd show some more progress on the Monte Carlo. A little more done. One thing you notice is the shifter's in, mounted where it needs to be. Had it hooked up to the transmission, everything is working good. Comms mounted in, might have showed that earlier, but accelerator pedal has been mounted up. This doesn't amount to a whole lot, besides some screws. All the brakes figured out. Engine and transmission pulled back out also. There is tarp. This isn't much different it was when it was in it, but they had to make the dipstick to the transmission. Still need to be bolted on there. Other than that, there's not a whole lot there. View. Okay, I got the hood off. The reason why I pulled the engine out was to finish up the firewall. Do some vinyl grinding on stuff. There's goofy studs that stuck up there. I'm getting ready to give it a paint job. There you can see the tunnel. The mounts for the cross member back in there. Gonna give it some black paint, make it look a little better. Here you can kind of see down inside all the stuff that was done to mount up the pedals. So look in here on the driver side. Get a better closer view of the shifter. Accelerator pedal where it's bolted up there. Okay. Other than that, where the heck everything else is. Get all that figured out. We'll get on to the brakes. Be the booster. Now there's the headers. Filler for the gas tank. There's one header. There's the other side. And weld some caps on down there. The caps with flanges. And here's the brake booster. I had to put these on there to get the booster out away from the firewall and angled up a little bit, but those are for 58 to 64 Impala. Well, that's pretty much figured out. And also, there's the subframe. Had to do some final welding on it. Had to close up the motor mount stands. And finish welding that bead across there. All across there. Set it down here. Get a better look at it. That's the motor mount stands. Of course, that's where the rack bolts to. Also, we modified it back here. These were in here. Moved them out there. I showed that earlier. That just needs a little bit of a cleaning and a paint job. And you should be able to. Mount everything back in the car for the final time.
as far as the engine and transmission. Still got brakes to do. Getting further on this Monte Carlo project. The subframe painted black. And also painted underneath the car. All nice and pretty black down here. Also have the dry shaft loop. For safety measures. <laughs> Here's the tabs for the cross member. And that is the cross member over there hanging on. The cherry picker there. Firewalls all painted up. I'll let it down so you can look at that. But should be just about ready to install the engine in the tranny for the final time, which is there underneath that tarp. Also, put a station wagon gas tank in it and just need to connect that to that. That's going to need to be cut and turned. It lines up with that better. You got a 90 degree angle piece to stick on there, and I should be able to stick a hose. I actually just got an adapter to go from this size to that size and put a hose there. We're getting further. Here's a look at the subframe from the other direction. All nice and pretty painted black. One of these days, you actually get to see it run. Here's under the hood. This is all nice and black firewall. I used a good quality industrial black paint that's chemical resistant. It's basically an Emron enamel, single stage. So if you spill anything on it, it will not bother it. Good paint, we use it a lot, especially on frames and firewalls and underbodies of cars. Another thing is look at these headlights. These are brand new headlights. Not that long ago, and look at that. Just turning the crap. Good quality Chinese replacement junk. They're so new they've never even been used in the car. Saves money on that. <laughs> Anyways, I should do it for the money at the moment, at least the paint part of it. Next is install the engine and trans.